Okay, folks, ever get that feeling, you know, you look up at the night sky and think, yeah, I kind of get this whole universe thing, stars, galaxies, all that. Well, uh, yeah. buckle up, because the James Webb Space Telescope, you know, good old web, has spotted something so bizarre, so strange. Out there. Yeah, way out there that scientists are kind of freaking out. And this isn't just some fuzzy picture. This is a clear anomaly, and it was flagged by a quantum AI analyzing the data. This is a big one. It is a big one, and that's why we are here today. We're going to be diving deep, really deep, into the latest from Webb, all processed by a quantum AI. And uh, the results, let me tell you, they aren't just raising eyebrows. They're perplexing the entire scientific community. Yeah, they are. And we're talking way beyond just tweaking our understanding a little bit. This is suggesting we might need to rethink the entire way we view the universe, like yeah, completely. Potentially. Yeah, it's that big. And you were kind enough to share with me this incredible report detailing the quantum AI analysis of the raw web data. Thanks for that, by the way. Now, before we even start, I think it's important to really get across to everyone that this isn't just your typical astronomy. The fact that we have quantum AI now is allowing us to see the cosmos in ways we never could before. It's true. Think of it like this. Quantum AI is our ultimate detective in space. We're talking about the immense processing power of quantum computers combined with really sophisticated pattern recognition from advanced artificial intelligence. And when you put the two together, they can sift through the colossal amounts of data from telescopes like Webb, data that traditional methods just couldn't even touch. Right. It's kind of like being able to look at a beach, you know, a gigantic beach from miles away, examine every single grain of sand, and then immediately be able to pick out the one grain that's different. Wow, that's a good analogy. So you can imagine why NASA, you know, in all sorts of private research labs, they're all over this, using it to unravel some of the universe's deepest mysteries. So let's dive into the first big shocker here. The AI pinpointed some really, really unusual signals, and these signals were coming from the area around a supermassive black hole. And look, we all know black holes are already pretty intense, but what's so different about these signals? It's all in the details. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at patterns of radiation and light, and they're coming from this supermassive black hole about 13 billion light years away. I mean, think about that, 13 billion light years. But here's the thing, it wasn't just random noise. The AI, it picked up these repeating organized elements within the signals, and that's the clue. Natural processes, as we understand them today, they just can't create patterns like that, especially not in an environment that extreme. It really does throw a wrench into our understanding of physics in those areas. And this kind of links back to some other things that Webb has found already, right? Things that have already surprised us, like the universe expanding faster than we thought. Exactly. Webb's been dropping hints all along that maybe our picture of the universe, you know, maybe it's a little incomplete. The fact that the universe is expanding faster than we predicted, oh, that's a big hint. And then there was that strange behavior with the dark matter, you know, around that massive galaxy JWST EOG. Remember the Einstein ring they found? Yeah, I remember that. I, mm -hmm. But for our listeners who might not remember, Einstein rings occur when light from a distant galaxy is distorted by the gravity of a massive object in front of it. Basically, it acts like a lens. Right, exactly. And all these earlier findings, well, they were already kind of telling us, hey, you know, there are limits to what we know. Mm -hmm. And now we've got these new signals, right? Mm -hmm. Super organized and coming from near a black hole. It all adds up to the idea that we need new theories, like from scratch, just to begin to understand what we're seeing. Okay, so we've got string signals. That's weird enough on its own. But then the AI found something even more, I don't even know the word, substantial. It's been called the cosmic structure that shouldn't exist. Now that's intriguing. Oh, it is. So the quantum AI was working away, right? Analyzing the data from Webb. And it came across something completely unprecedented. A massive geometric object just out there emitting these precise, regular pulses of radiation. And when we say massive, we're talking the size of our entire solar system. Whoa. That's huge. Wait. But it gets even weirder. The pulses themselves, they weren't random bursts or anything. The AI actually determined that they looked like they were deliberately encoded, like structured data transmissions, nothing natural we've ever seen before. So you're telling me there's something out there the size of our solar system and it's sending out messages. It's like science fiction, but real. I know, right? And that's why it's so unsettling. I mean, think about it. A structure like that, it completely goes against everything we know about how things form and behave in space. And it's not just a one-off. Remember what we were talking about before? Mm -hmm. Those ancient galaxies that Webb found, to, to developed for their age, messing up our whole galaxy formation timeline. Well, this new discovery, it falls right in line with those other anomalies. 
it just keeps getting clearer that there's this huge gap between our theories and what Webb is showing us is actually out there. So what could possibly explain this? I mean, the report you shared mentioned something pretty mind-blowing, the possibility of a Dyson sphere. Now, for our listeners who might not be familiar with that term, can you break it down for us? A Dyson sphere, imagine this, is a hypothetical megastructure, something a super advanced civilization could build around a star. And the reason they do this is to capture a large amount of the star's energy. Like harnessing the power of a star. It's awesome. It's been a concept in theoretical physics for a long time, but now we have this object and some of its properties seem to line up with what we think a Dyson sphere might look like. And that's what makes this so significant and let's face it, a little scary. Yeah. Because what it implies is technology on a scale we can't even fathom. Technology suggesting that maybe, just maybe, we aren't alone in this vast universe. Okay, yeah, unsettling is definitely the right word. Because if it is a Dyson sphere, I mean, what does that mean? Are we talking about aliens? Potentially. If this thing's artificial, it means there's a civilization out there so far beyond us that they can engineer on a stellar scale. I mean, can you even imagine that? And it leads to even bigger questions. Questions like, are we just watching their technology at work? Or even creepier, could we be under observation ourselves by this civilization? And these are huge questions. And as you can imagine, the entire scientific community is grappling with this discovery, right? It's forcing us to rethink our place in the cosmos and if all our assumptions about what's even possible are totally wrong. So we've got strange signals, a possible Dyson sphere, and then it gets even weirder. The quantum AI found a link to older data, right? Observations from Voyager 1 and the Chandra X-ray Observatory. Tell me about this unexpected correlation. So this is where things get really interesting. The AI didn't just find these new weird things in the web data and leave it at that. It actually connected them to anomalies that were recorded ages ago. I'm talking decades. By Voyager 1, you know, our little spacecraft out there exploring the solar system and beyond and the Chandra X-ray Observatory. That's pretty significant because it suggests that this isn't just a random one-time thing, but part of something much bigger and maybe even planned. You mean it's not just one bizarre object, but maybe a whole network of them? Right like an interconnected system. And remember what we were talking about before with those gravitational lensing effects that Webb found, mm -hmm. like Einstein rings? Those are telling us there are these huge unseen structures out there warping space and affecting light over these vast distances. And when you consider all of that together, well, the idea that these signals and structures are all part of one giant system spanning, who knows, maybe the entire universe, it starts to become more than just a theory. So how did scientists react to all of this? They didn't just brush it under the rug, did they? The report mentioned an urgent scientific response. Oh, they definitely didn't brush it under the rug. I mean, faced with all this evidence, leading astrophysicists basically sounded the alarm. And NASA, they coordinated this huge global effort. They got observatories all over the world to point their instruments, the best ones we've got at the source of these signals, all to collect as much data as possible across the entire electromagnetic spectrum you know, to really try to understand what they're dealing with. And this massive coordinated response, it really shows you how worried the scientific community is. Experts are openly admitting that we might be missing huge chunks of knowledge about how the universe works. And then to add even more intrigue to this whole thing, the AI found something strange in the light itself, right? Yeah. So just when they thought they were starting to wrap their heads around these signals in this massive structure, the quantum AI, it flagged something else. Something in the light coming from this weird cosmic structure. And it was the spectrum, the light spectrum. It didn't match up with any of our usual models for how astrophysical objects should behave. The report even called it exotic physics at play, meaning something we've never seen before. Something that doesn't fit with our standard models of the universe. Exotic physics. That sounds like we're way beyond textbook science here. We are. Way beyond. And this actually ties back to some other weird things Webb's been showing us. Remember those temporal anomalies where distant objects appear younger or older than they should be, according to physics. Those were already hinting at some kind of disruption in the flow of time in the cosmos. So now you put those together with these new weird light properties and researchers are starting to suggest a pretty wild hypothesis. Okay, I've got a note. Lay it on me. What's the hypothesis? They're saying these anomalies might be the result of something or someone actively messing with space time manipulating it. If that's true, well, then it means there's something out there, an intelligence or some kind of phenomenon that can control or even change the very fabric of reality, something way beyond anything we humans can even comprehend. 
manipulation of space time. I mean, that's a concept that's hard to even wrap your head around. It's like yeah. we've gone from astronomy to some kind of super advanced theoretical physics. Exactly. And that's exactly the kind of shift that's happening in the scientific community right now. These discoveries, they're so groundbreaking that they're making physicists reconsider all these ideas that used to be considered fringe science, you know, mm -hmm. science fiction stuff. The anomalies that Webb's been finding, they're forcing a major reevaluation of theories that were once dismissed out of hand. So now we're talking about things like simulated universes, like the idea that our reality is actually a computer program or something, or maybe even aliens deliberately messing with the laws of physics. Those kinds of ideas. Exactly those kinds of ideas. Yeah. It boils down to these core questions. Could this be ancient alien technology so advanced that we can't even grasp it? Is it some natural cosmic process that just breaks all our existing laws of physics? Or maybe, and this is the big one, is this a sign that we're living in a simulated reality? Yeah. That our universe is not what we think it is. It's mind-blowing, and scientists are scrambling to develop new models, new ways of thinking about this, because, let's face it, the old explanations just don't cut it anymore. We're at the point where mainstream astrophysics is seriously considering things that we've been laughed at just a few years ago. So just to recap, we've gone from strange signals to possible alien megastructures to the idea that maybe reality itself is being manipulated. This has been one heck of a deep dive. It has. And I think the key takeaway here is that we've moved through these stages right. We started with those weird organized signals near a black hole. Then we find this huge structure, maybe a Dyson sphere, pumping out what looks like encoded information. That alone suggests there might be civilizations out there way beyond us. And then we discover that this might not be an isolated thing, but part of a vast network spanning huge distances, maybe even the whole universe. And the cherry on top, the light from this structure, suggests some kind of exotic physics, things we've never seen before. That's what leads to the mind-boggling idea that maybe space-time itself is being manipulated. All of this, all these discoveries, it's all thanks to quantum AI and the data from the James Webb Telescope. They've opened up a whole new frontier in cosmology, and it's one that's both amazing and, yeah, a little scary. It really feels like we're at the edge of something huge, a major turning point in how we understand the cosmos and maybe even something a little frightening. I mean, the report really stressed that these are completely unprecedented findings. Researchers are saying they've never seen anything like this before. That's what makes it so exciting and unsettling. We're dealing with something entirely new here. Our old ways of thinking about the universe, say they don't quite fit anymore. We're having to fundamentally reassess our understanding of how things work at the most basic level. So after all of this, can we still look up at the stars and feel that same sense of wonder, that same simplicity? It feels like the universe has become a lot more complex, more mysterious, and maybe even a little less lonely. What do you think? That's the big question, isn't it? These discoveries are a challenge. They're making us rethink our place in the universe and what we think we know about reality. They're forcing us to confront the possibility that we're not alone and that what we thought was impossible might actually be happening all around us. It's humbling and it's exciting. What other fundamental beliefs might we have to let go of as we learn more? The cosmos, it's not just a bunch of stars and galaxies anymore. It's a place of incredible wonders, strange phenomena, and mysteries that we're only just beginning to grasp. And this is just the beginning, right? The report mentioned that the James Webb Telescope is going to be spending a lot of time focused on these anomalies. Absolutely. In late 2024 and going into 2025, Webb is going to be dedicating a significant amount of its observation time specifically to these new anomalies near supermassive black holes. Mm -hmm. So as we collect more data, who knows what we're going to find? We could be on the verge of some truly mind-blowing revelations. Stay tuned. It sounds like we need to. This is definitely a story that's going to keep unfolding. And for our listeners, if this deep dive has left you wanting more, and I'm sure it has, well, I'll be posting links to the report we discussed today on the show notes so you can dive into the details yourselves. It's a wild ride, trust me. And as always, keep looking up. You never know what wonders the universe might reveal next. That's right. Keep looking up.